Honourable friend, we have no plans to do that. Uh, Dr. Eddie Whiteford. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Speaker, yeah. can I thank the Secretary of State for advance sight of his statement? I am very glad that at last this long awaited Green Paper is being published, and I broadly welcome the Government's commitment to reform, to more personalised support, and to consult widely with disabled people, carers, and those who represent them. And can I say we will work constructively with all parties to deliver real progress for disabled people? But we need actions, not just words. The truth is that the burden of austerity that has fallen on sick and disabled people in recent years has caused severe hardship and pushed many people further away from the workplace. Sick and disabled people have been disproportionately sanctioned in the benefits system. Sick and disabled people have been disproportionately hit by the bedroom tax. The raising of the bar on personal independence payments has seen thousands of sick and disabled people losing their motability vehicles, in many cases their only means of getting to and from work. And from next April, sick and disabled people with long-term conditions will be deterred from going back to work, because if they do, and then they have a relapse and have to go back on ESA, they will find their income cut by £30 a week. And, Mr Speaker, far too many people who are manifestly too sick to work are still being found fit for work. Here, here. Earlier this year, the Government cut the budget for its work programme from £2 billion to £130 million. Given its poor performance, I can understand why. But we know from more successful schemes to support disabled people into work, schemes like Access to Work or voluntary sector initiatives like Action on Hearing Losses Moving On programme, that tailored personalised support does not come cheap. What additional budget does the Secretary of State envisage will be attached to the Government's proposals? What discussions has he had with the Treasury ahead of the autumn statement? And will there be Barnet consequentials for Scotland? I also want to ask the Secretary of State about support for employers. To date, efforts have focused on improving employers' confidence, which is fine as far as it goes, but can be fairly nebulous if there are no practical resources to back it up. Employers need concrete support to make this work. Will there be resources attached to the rhetoric this time around? Yeah. And finally, can I plead with the Secretary of State to hold off the impending cuts to the ESA RAG until such time as the Government has got this right? Here, here, here. Here. Um, well, I'm grateful to the uh, Honourable Lady for her, her general welcome uh, for the appearance of the Green Paper and for her uh, commitment to work constructively on it. Uh, indeed, my, my honourable friend, the uh, Minister for Disabled People, Health and Work, was in uh, Scotland last week uh, discussing uh, with counterparts there uh, what uh, needs to be done, and, and I will be there, as you may know, uh, later this week to uh, talk to the Social Security Committee. Uh, she made the point um, about resources. Uh, I'm able to tell her that there will, will be additional support uh, for new claimants uh, with limited capability for work. It will be £60 million next year, rising to £100 million a year uh, by 2020. Uh, there will be new money for the third sector, uh, something like £15 million, £15 million uh, by uh, Christmas of this year. Uh, and also, she, she makes a very good point uh, about employers, and I, I agree with her uh, that we need to have uh, more than rhetoric. That is why uh, we will be rolling out a small employer offer that will support the creation of more job opportunities for disabled people, uh, will provide support for employers and enable employers to apply for a payment of £500 after three months' employment to provide uh, ongoing support. I think it is that kind of practical help, particularly for small businesses, that will uh, transform matters for uh, very many people. We know that small businesses are the biggest uh, creators of jobs in this country, and absolutely we want them to participate in being able to use this, this great talent pool that is out there of people with disabilities uh, whose employment is much less uh, than those without disabilities. Order. With extensive interest and pressure on time, I am looking for single, short, supplementary questions without preamble and, of course, for...